Number 12, landline phones. Remember those phones with jacks that plugged in the wall? Of course you do. You probably still have one if you're a boomer. You doggone right. We still have a landline phone somewhere in our house with a working phone jack. You millennials rely too much on modern technology. We live in an age of domestic and foreign terrorism. What if someone messed up all the cell phone signals or blocked all the cell phone towers in their reception and an attack on American technology? Guess whose house you gonna be running to to use the landline phone? Ours. We're just gonna have to decide if we're gonna let you use it. Do you even know how to use it? Yes, we like to have a landline phone. We have cell phones, but if there's ever that one time that it's an emergency, we can always depend on our landline phones. We're not giving them up. Not for you, not for anyone. Number 13, diamonds. Buying diamonds is such a scam. Stop buying expensive diamonds, boomers. Stop. Instead, use that money to pay off your student loans. You talking to us? To pay off our student loans? Uh, most of us have already paid off our student loans. And if any of us still owe money on our student loans, it's not that much. Average student loan balance. Generation X owe the most. Not as boomers, it's Generation X. Ages between 39 to 54. They owe the most money in student loans. And although boomers have the second highest amount, it's only slightly, slightly higher than the education debt you millennials have. So you need to get your facts straight. And yes, we do like diamonds. And yes, we can afford diamonds. What's not to like? They're sparkly. They look great on you. They're a girl's best friend. And the guys, you just have to be an older girl or guy to appreciate them. We're sorry you're not. And sorry you can't afford them. Oh well. Diamonds, another things we boomers love that we will never, ever give up. So now guys, it's interaction time. I'm gonna read the top three comments that I received last week from the nice, the dumb, and the ignorant. So let me get my reading glasses and here goes. First, the nice. The first comment is nice. It's from Sub-Zero MNX. He says, 76 million? Wow, that's a lot. And a group that we, as younger people, need to respect and help take care of. I am a 70s baby, so I believe I'm Generation X. Thanks so much for your comments. My four oldest kids are 70s babies, and they are absolutely awesome. Like you, Sub-Zero MNX. Thanks. The next comment is from the dumb. Grabbler Bear wrote, You never went to the moon? No, I personally 
never went to the moon. But the moon landing happened during my childhood and I watched it on TV as did millions of other Americans. And the last response is from the ignorant. MK Ultra wrote, yeah, why are baby boomers such trash? I am so sorry that you have a problem with us baby boomers. Your mother or grandmother was most likely a baby boomer. I for one am not trash. I am also sorry that us boomers make you feel insecure for whatever reason. But I am glad that baby boomers and myself are so much on your mind. Take care, my friend. Much love and peace to you. MK Ultra responded, No. They had the greatest economic advantage in world history, and they squandered it for the rest of us so they could have their vacations and easy retirement. Yeah, baby boomers are the worst generation ever. So I responded back. For your information, anything that we squandered belonged to us and not your generation. Our retirements are not easy. That was the generation before us that we helped pay for, and we have no regrets about it. And if you want to go on vacation, then do like us baby boomers do. Plan it, save your money, and go. Quit blaming other people for your shortcomings. And for your information, baby boomers just started retiring in 2011. That was only eight years ago. I mean, what? Why do you feel so entitled and like everything belongs to you? You've done nothing. To deserve it. Our retirement money is our retirement money. It does not belong to you. Get a grip. This is a public service announcement. In today's public service announcement is about all the rash of mass shootings that's been happening lately. <sighs> Guys, it's really rough out there nowadays. When you go out, look for more than one exit. Try not to sit with your back facing the door Formulate some type of escape plan if something were to happen. It's not safe out there, guys, like it used to be. You have to watch people. You see somebody who looks suspicious, steer clear. Again, Make sure you know where all the exits are. Look for places that you could possibly hide and be out of the line of fire in case there is a shooting incident. Never ever trust that you're safe just because you're in a large crowded place. That's where the majority of mass shootings occur in large, crowded places. 
Don't take your safety for granted. Protect yourselves at all costs. It's a lot of crazy, deranged people out there. And a lot of people that feel hopeless and have nothing to live for. So make sure you stay safe. These are just a few of my thoughts. I am so disappointed and heartbroken over all the mass shootings that have happened. There have been more mass shootings this year than days of the year. Think about that for a minute. That means for every day of 2019, there has been at least one and maybe two mass shootings. That's a lot. And that says a lot about our society as a whole. I think that there should be a complete ban on all types of assault weapons. Why do you need an assault weapon? If you're not police or military or fighting in a war, there is no need for you to have an assault weapon. I'm not saying a ban on all firearms, but definitely on assault weapons and on weapons that shoot multiple times. Lives are at stake here. Congress needs to stand up to the NRA and do something about this. There are children being killed in schools. Elementary schools, college campuses. There are mass shootings going on in Walmart, at the mall at people's places of employment. This needs to stop. Mental health is a big issue in this country. And yes, they need to rebuild the mental institutions. You cannot trust a mentally unstable person to continue their medications. And it's obvious that background checks do not work. There are a lot of mentally unstable people that pass background checks because they have nothing prior in their records until they decide to do a mass shooting. All of this is very tragic but it can all be prevented. We need the people's voices to be heard. We need the people to speak up. And we need to let Congress know that you supporting and bowing down to the NRA because you're accepting their money is wrong and that is hurting us and that we don't like it. And those are my thoughts for today. Today's quote, it's better to look back on life and say, I can't believe I did that, than to look back and think, I wish I did that. have no regrets. Thank you so much for watching the Baby Boomer channel. Remember guys, like this video and hit the subscribe button. It don't cost anything to subscribe and I am not making any money off of these videos. I just enjoy doing it. 
I enjoy having you guys as an audience and thank you so much for all your support. Episode 4 of the Baby Boomer channel is about forgiveness and how to love yourself because you are sensational also. Bye guys. Yeah.